Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are reviewing seventh grade probability. So here are some probability problems. Julio tossed a coin 10 times. The results were eight heads and two tails. What is the experimental probability of landing on heads? Okay, so let's first define what experimental probability is. Experimental probability is the results you get from doing this experiment. So the experiment was 10 flips, eight were heads, two were tails. So what's the probability of getting heads? Well, we got eight of them. Eight out of how many? Eight out of 10, so that is 0.8, which is eight tenths. And that's the experimental probability. Now, let's look at the concept of theoretical probability. Okay, what is the theoretical probability of landing on heads? So let's say we don't do the experiment. We just have a coin and on one side we have a head and on the other side we have a tail. Well, we have two possible outcomes. So that is our denominator, two, two different choices. And what's the probability of getting heads? That's one out of the two, so it's a half. Because half of the time you're gonna, you should flip a head or a tail. And that's what in theory should happen. That's what theoretical probability is. Okay, so let's try another probability set. This one is about marbles. So, a bag contains two red marbles, three blue marbles, four orange, and three purple. So that adds up to 12 marbles. So that's our total. What is the probability of purple or blue? One well, or problem, in an or problem, you are going to add. So we're gonna add the probability of purple and then we're gonna add the probability of blue. So what's the probability of purple? Well, we have three purples out of the 12 and we have how many blue? We have three blues. So what's the probability of purple or blue? We just add those up and that's six out of 12, which is 0.5 or 50% as a probability. So that's 0.5 is our probability. Okay, let's look at the same bag. So the bag contains the two red, the three blue, the four orange, and the three purple. What's the probability of not orange? Okay, if it's not orange, that means it's red or blue or purple. So we're going to add red, blue, and purple up and that adds to eight. So eight out of how many? Well, we have 12. So eight twelfths, which reduces by four to, um, what's that, two thirds? So the probability is 0.67, and that's the probability of not orange. Now let's look at more than one event. So, a die is rolled and a letter is selected from the word summer. So we have two events. One is a rolled die and the second one is choosing a letter from the word summer. What is the probability of two and an M? Okay, this is an and problem. When you have an and problem, two events happening, you're gonna multiply the probability of each event. Okay, so two, what's the probability of rolling a two on a die? Well, a die has how many sides? It has six sides, and they're, and they're, the sides read one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what's the probability of getting a two? Well, that's just one chance out of six choices. And we're gonna multiply that by the probability of choosing an M. Well, out of, the, out of the word summer, we also have two, four, six letters. So again, we have six possibilities, but how many of those are M's? We have two. So we're gonna multiply those together because you want this, this event, which is drawing a two, and the event 
of drawing an M, you want both to occur. So multiplying across, we take get 2 out of 36. So there's our probability, 2 out of 36. Okay, now let's look at a deck problem, a deck of cards. So remember, a deck of cards has 52 total cards. You have four suits. And in each suit, you have 13 cards. And out of those 13 cards, we have how many are face cards? King, queen, and a jack. So three of them are face cards. And the rest, the other 10, are not face cards. So just being familiar with this deck of cards. Okay? So from a deck of cards, what is the probability that you draw a red card, you replace it, and then draw a heart? So you have two events. So we've got to decide, do we add or do we multiply? Well, this is an and problem. So what did we say in the last problem? When you have an and problem, you're going to multiply the probabilities together. So event one. Event one is drawing a red card. Well, how many red cards do we have? Well, half of the deck is red, right? Because out of each suit, we have hearts and diamonds that are red. And we have spades. And we have clubs. Can't draw a club. That are end up being black cards. So two out of the four suits are red, which is half of the deck. So one half of the deck is red. Event two. How many of the cards are hearts? So that's a suit. Well, we have 13 cards in each suit. So that's 13 cards out of 52 cards, which is also the same if we reduce it. That's one fourth of the deck because that's one out of four suits. So let's multiply these two probabilities together. One times one is one and two times four is eight. So the probability of drawing a red card, replacing it, and then drawing a heart is one eighth. And that's a quick summary of the seventh grade probability.